slot 3 quantitative aptitude question number 15 a shop owner bought a total of 64 shirts from the wholesale markets that came in two sizes small and large the price of the small shirt was INR 50 less than that of a large shirt she paid a total of rupees 5000 for the large shirt and INR 1800 for the small shirt then the price of large and small shirt together is so there are there is a shopkeeper who has a total of 64 shirts of which some are large and some are small. So the price of large shirt is P. Then the price of small shirt is given to be 50 less. So we can take it as 50 P minus 50. And now if the number of large shirts is X then 64 minus x should give us the number of small shirts. So what does it mean? It means that the total paid for the large shirt that is x into p must be equal to 5000 rupees. This is a equation 1. And second equation is 64 minus x into p minus 50 is equal to 1800 so there are your two equations and once we get these two equations we can easily solve it by using quadratic equation what we can do is we can just substitute x is equal to 5000 upon p from 1 into 2 and we will get a quadratic equation but in an exam situation, solving that kind of quadratic equation will be tedious. So what else we can do? Well, we can solve it by using options intelligently. Now, what are these options giving you? These options are giving you the total price, the total price of a small shirt. So basically P plus p minus 50 this is what the two options are giving you and according to your options the value of p plus p minus 50 can be 150 can be 225 can be 175 and can be 200 now i'll immediately rule out these two options because they are giving me answers in fractions which is possible but i will not try using these options I will try option 1 and option 4 for the first time. So if option 1 is my correct answer, the value of the two prices is 150, which means the price of the larger shirt is 100 and price of the smaller shirt is 50. And we are told that 50 into some number, see, x into p is 5000 and we already get the value of p as 100 so 100 into x must be 5000 which means 100 x must be 50 now the moment you get x as 50 what is x x is the number of large shirts so immediately you see that the number of small shirts should be 14 and check backwards 14 into 50 gives me 700 so this is nothing but the total price or total cost of small shirts but that is given to be 1800 so just cancel it this can't be your answer so what else can be your answer the sum of the two prices can be 200 which means the price of large shirt can be 125 and price of small shirt can be 75 now what should we do We'll just say x into 125 as 5000 and this is equal to 40 x is equal to 40 what does that mean number of small shirts must be 64 minus 40 that is 24 and just multiply 24 into 75 what do you get 12 24 5s are 120, carry over 12, 0 carry over 
12 and this is uh, 168 plus 12 180 so the total is 1800 so option d 200 must be your answer so in an exam setting you can very well see that how plugging the options backward would help you solve the question faster you know the quadratic equation is quite tedious in fact it 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 it's, it has pretty large numbers